Hey dolls and gents, your girl is back with a new video today and as you can tell by the title, it is that time of year again. It is time for birthday get ready with me videos. Who is excited? You already know your girl is a Scorpio. My birthday is November 4th and I bring y'all these birthday makeup tutorials every year right before Halloween when everybody else is doing their crazy creepy Halloween looks. Your girl is doing creative glam birthday looks. I really enjoy playing with color, doing different hairstyles and things that I normally wouldn't do on an everyday type basis because y'all know since I've gotten older, I love doing neutral looks, but every year around my birthday, this is the time for me to just try new stuff and I'm bringing it to y'all this year. So this is one of three birthday looks that I'll be doing for you guys this year. I wanted to do a colorful look today using the Jackie Ina palette. Like, <sighs> finally using this palette on camera. I've been using it like on a day-to-day -day basis when I actually do do my makeup because it's like once or twice a month. But this is the first time I used it on camera. Absolutely love this palette. You can get a colorful look from this palette. You can get a neutral look from this palette. Jackie did her thing on this palette. So make sure y'all go check it out. So y'all already know I like to be extra when it comes to my birthday. Like I feel like a Scorpios are kind of extra. It is Libra season right now. So all my Libras. What's up? I love Libras too. A lot of my good and best friends are Libras, so yeah. So speaking of extra, do y'all see this extra bling on my finger right here? This right here, oh, like. <laughs> this is the Tiger Gems 15 Karat Radiant Halo Ring, and it was handmade by love by the owner, Tabitha. Y'all, she is so freaking talented. Look at this ring. She sells conflict-free jewelry that looks just as gorgeous as a natural diamond. I was rocking this ring for a girl's night out, and my friends couldn't even tell that this wasn't a real diamond. It looks so beautiful. I did get this in a size 7. I definitely will be rocking this for my birthday this year. I still have to choose a bomb outfit for my birthday, but I already have the shoes in mind that will complement this ring. So bomb. They sell engagement rings, promise rings, right hand rings, stackable rings. They pretty much got the rings down pat. So definitely check them out. All of the rings are affordable. They're under $200 and they look amazing. It is a US based company, but they do ship worldwide and they offer free shipping as well as returns. So if you are interested in this bling bling right here, definitely check out Tiger Gems. I will leave the link in the description box down below for you guys. And y'all, shh, don't tell anybody, but your girl is rocking a synthetic wig. Yes, a synthetic wig. Y'all, this wig is giving me life. I wanted to try out the whole mermaid trend. So yeah, I definitely, have to make a custom unit this color now. I will also link this wig in the description box down below if I can find it. I got it from a local beauty supply store, but if I can find it, I got you, boo. okay? I got you. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so you're notified as soon as your girl posts a new video. And if you wanna see this look right here, you know what to do, boo. Stay tuned. Let's get into our first birthday makeup look. I'm first starting off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I'm applying this to the outer three-fourths of my eyebrow, and then I will blend it out with my spoolie. I have been using this Dip Brow Pomade for so long now. I've went through literally like three of these just this year. So I love this stuff. As you can tell, it's amazing. If you have not picked it up yet, what are you doing, boo? Like, it makes my brows waterproof. I rock it even when I'm not wearing makeup to fill in my brows. I just love it. And I'm going in next to clean up underneath my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 6.0. I've said this so many times, I think I sound like a broken record, but this has been discontinued. 
I'm so mad that they discontinued this concealer. I'm not even sure why they did because in my opinion, it was bomb AF. I hope that they bring it back one day, but yeah, I love this for cleaning up underneath my brows as well as priming my eyelids for eyeshadow and it also helps to cancel out any discoloration on my eyelids. This stuff is amazing. Next, I am setting that concealer with the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. This just allows the concealer to not crease. It just keeps it in place, basically. So I am going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina Palette Gay. I'm using the shade Supreme, which is a gorgeous matte pink color. This is so pigmented, like I didn't expect it to pop on my skin that quick like but come on now Jackie did this so I should have already know this color is amazing it gave me exactly what I wanted for this look so I was excited I didn't even have to pack this baby on as you can see the color was just there from the get-go okay next I am going in with the shade big wig and applying this a little bit below the supreme shade so this is going to give us a nice contrast i love blending pink with purple i think that it mixed together it just looks so so beautiful and we are going to be doing a cut crease so it doesn't matter if you do it a little sloppy because we're going to clean it up now, okay? Now I am going in with the P. Louise Base in the shade Rumor 0.5. I sped this up a lot, y'all. Your girl was rusty when it came to cut crease. I haven't done this in a minute. So yeah, I had to speed it up. Otherwise, we would have been sitting here for like five, six minutes and ain't nobody got time for that, right? So just make sure you get both eyes as symmetrical as possible, but it doesn't have to be exact because listen, you can be here all day doing this. On top of that base, I am using the Trust Issues Eyeshadow from the Jackie Ina palette. And this color is really, really beautiful. I actually was going to go over top it with a glitter, but I didn't even need to because this eyeshadow on its own is just beautiful this screams like birthday to me like let me know what y'all think does this scream birthday to y'all too now you already know your girl had to do a liquid liner wing liner i'm using my tart tartus liquid liner i love this stuff i've been using it for like at least a year and a half now i feel like it gives me a nice precise line it's easy to use and it lasts a really long time it's also very dark i love liners that are super black because not all black liners are created the same y'all some of them kind of look dull especially when you go over top of glitter so if you're on the hunt for a new one check this one out it's like a dual liner, so on the other side it has a pencil, but I already used up the pencil, so I just used the liquid liner side now, y'all. Now it's time for mascara. I'm going in with the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara, and I'm just using this to prep my lashes for false lashes. I do like to apply my false lashes as the last step. Of my makeup look now that just allows them to not get any powder or any like makeup caked on them now I am about to start this face makeup I'm going in with the Smashbox photo finish primer water y'all know I always prime with this and I'm using the Fursali skin tune blur primer I'm like late on the bandwagon with this baby but I've had it for a while but I was so stuck on the milk makeup what is it, the Hydro Grip Primer that I like wasn't using this one, but this one is bomb too. Like if you don't want to have any pores, yes, this primer is everything. I am using a new foundation today, y'all. I've had it for a minute. Like I forced myself to use stuff that I haven't used that have just literally been sitting collecting dust because I am a creature of habit. I love using makeup products that I know are bomb, but 
I'm trying out the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation today in the shade 205. And on camera, it's looking kind of orange, kind of oopa loompa. But I'm telling y'all, in real life, this is a cool tone foundation. So I'm not sure why it's popping up like that on camera. But I feel like once it's set on my skin, you could kind of get the real color of how it looks in real life on camera, if that makes any sense. So I'm blending this out with an e.l.f. brush. I'm not even sure what brush this is. But if you're interested, I will figure it out and I will link it in the description box down below for you guys. To contour, I couldn't find a new product to use. So I'm using one of my faves, the Black Radiance Foundation Stick in the shade Espresso. I am buffing it out on my jawline, my cheekbones. I didn't apply any to my forehead. Y'all already know the drill with that. And I am also going to be sculpting out my nose with it. I know that you can't really see the contour pop yet, but once I do my highlight, it will pop. I really enjoy doing my contour first and my highlight after. I don't know. I used to do them both at the same time. And then I used to do my highlight first, then my contour. But I just really like doing contour first now. I've been doing it that way for a minute now, right? Now it's time to highlight. I'm going in with the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in the shade 70 NY first. I'm using this underneath my eyes. I love this concealer because it not only brightens, but it also kind of cancels out that darkness because it is a correcting concealer. Next, I'm going over the rest of my face with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, and we are blending this baby out with a damp beauty blender. This is the Pro one, and also I'm going back and forth between that and my foundation brush. Y'all know how I do now. I just go back and forth between the two until I get it blended the way that I like. So this is a long process, y'all. Like <laughs> This honestly takes me the most time when I do my makeup. But by the time that I finish, it looks so amazing that I'm just like, you know what? It's all worth it. Now it's time to bake. I am using the Revolution Baking Powder in the shade Banana Deep. I like using a yellow toned baking powder when I want my under eyes and my highlighted areas to have that extra brightness. And that's what I wanted today because it's a birthday look. We got to be extra. So yeah, I love this color. It is very nice. It is a Cheaper alternative to the Midnight Banana Powder that we all used to love oh so much. And now I am going in with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Dark Deep. This is a satin type powder, so it's not exactly matte. It does have a little sheen in it. Some people say it has glitter in it, but I just love the way that it looks on the skin as a finish. It doesn't look cakey at all. It never looks cakey, which is why I've been so stuck on it as of late. And then I'm also using that same brush to brush away the baking powder. So I do not like to bake for a long time. I find that if I bake for too long, it just starts to cake up in my fine lines under my eyes. I'm getting too old for that. And yeah, it's just not a good look. So I don't do that anymore. I wanted to have a pop of color on my lower lash line, so I'm going into the NARS Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Ocean Drive. When I tell you, these NARS eyeliners are pigmented, yes, like they are super pigmented. So I first applied it to the waterline, and then I was like, you know what, let's add it to the lower lash line as well smudge it out a little bit and I think that's going to give me the look that I'm going for. So I decided to add a bit of eyeshadow on my lower lash line as well just to set the liner. I'm using the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Electric Ill. This is a oldie but it is so good y'all like you need this color in your life. It's super bright and fun. 
I am going in with the MAC lip pencil in the shade cork. This is like almost the same color as my skin. I love using this to blend a lot of different lip colors. And next I'm going in with the NARS lipstick in the shade Raw Love. It is a gorgeous kind of mauve nude color. And for bronzer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. I almost stumbled over the words. <laughs> in the shade Mocha Mommy. I love this bronzer so much. It's so pigmented. I did add a little bit to my forehead, but mostly my cheekbone, my jawline, and the bridge of my nose just to add definition to these areas. Are y'all still hanging in there? We are almost done. I am using the e.l.f. times Nabella Noor highlighter. I hope I'm not butchering her name. She just did a collab with e.l.f. And this highlighter, honey, yes, I had to use this highlighter. It is everything. It is so, so gorgeous. I'm using it on my cheekbones, down the middle of my nose, on my cupid's bow and I also did add a little bit to the inner corner of my eyes but I don't think that I showed that on camera and now I am applying my lashes I know I haven't launched yet I don't have an updated date for you guys but as soon as I do I will announce I know y'all are about tired of me using these lashes but not giving y'all a chance to get them I already know I hear you I got you and the last and final step is applying mascara to our bottom lashes. I'm going into the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Y'all, this mascara is amazing for making your bottom lashes like full and long. Just try, just try. If you enjoyed this birthday makeup tutorial, definitely give your girl a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, then you know what to do. Let me know in the comment section down below and I will catch y'all in my next birthday makeup tutorial. Bye guys. By the way, a lot of y'all are not caught up on my latest videos and I can tell by the views. So go ahead, pick one of these videos, go check them out right now. And if you don't see the videos, then all you have to do is go to my profile, click, you know, makeup doll down below and all my latest videos will pop up because I have a bunch for y'all to watch.